Is it, are you rolling? Is this rolling? Is this, are we on TV right now? Is this live? Folks, this broken wire right here is totally my fault, but this is small potatoes compared to this other gentleman that emailed me recently. He's got a broken tractor for sale. So this guy here, that's my problem, okay? So I installed a, a Summit diverter on here a few years ago, and um, I don't know what the heck I was doing, but I did not strap that thing up and kind of secure it the way that I should have. And so that cable, that wire was hanging down, and at some point recently, it got snagged and it tore right off. So I've got a repair job to do on the 1025R. And so this is a crazy, one of those things that just happens that you just can't plan for this kind of thing, right? And so this gentleman emails me and says, hey, I've got a tractor, ran away down a hill, rammed into a tree, both the rear axles are broken off of it. He was able to get a brand new tractor and take his loader and swap it out to the brand new 1025R. He still loves the 1025R, but now he's got a tractor that's kind of in pieces and shambles, only 280 hours on it. You know, and I've had some of my own pain over the years, especially back when I, I bought and sold a lot of used equipment. I, I've mentioned this story before, the John Deere 2320, and you know, I owned that machine for like an hour's worth of time on it. And you know, kind of went through, checked everything out, everything was good to go. A customer had come and actually handed me a check and purchased that tractor but he couldn't pick it up for a while, like a week or something until he was in his new place or had a trailer or whatever it was. So anyway, I was just moving that piece of equipment around to get it out of the way when all of a sudden it stopped working. If you know the 2320 and a couple other models as well, that U-joint back there on the, on the drive shaft will go. There weren't um, instructions on how to grease that or that you needed to grease it. Uh, there weren't Zerks on the earlier generation of the earlier model years of that. And anyway, catastrophic failure, sheared off inside the transaxle housing, about a $4,500 repair, a thousand of that, which was parts and the rest was labor to disassemble and then reassemble. And so for me, I weighed both options. I weighed paying the $4,500 to fix that and then sell it and get whatever I could out of it or discounting the price down and selling it as is and, and kind of fingers crossed hoping for somebody. I, I positioned it in a way that is, this is a great deal. I made it enticing enough to be a great deal for somebody who is handy and has the time to pay just the thousand dollars in parts. And then there's that gap there, right? There's the $3,500 that's kind of flexible, right? You, how much is your time worth? And, and so essentially I lost less money selling it in as is condition versus if I would have had it all fixed and sold it in fully working condition. I just disclosed everything. Folks, really quick, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button down below. If you are enjoying today's video, we want you to tag along. And if you own a tractor, then you need attachments. We'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. And so this was fairly recently, okay? And so just so you guys know, if you want to reach out and contact me, anybody that's interested, I told them I'd, I'd kind of help him um, get rid of the, the broken tractor on however he decides to sell it. Now, if I don't respond to you and it's down the road in the future sometime, I mean, this is gonna sell pretty quickly, okay? Whether he sells the whole thing off or uh, sells it in parts, but um, so don't take offense to that. This is, this is a end of 2022 time frame right now. So if you're emailing me in 2024, it's long gone, okay? But anyway, his repair, unlike mine, that was $4,500, was $11,500. To repair the rear end of his tractor, $11,500. I, I almost can't believe that. And I don't know the breakdown between the parts and the labor, but um, that's like, that's like, I don't know, was it 70% or something of the cost of the base, the base tractor itself? Uh, that's outrageous. Anyway, so, you know, he asked what, what he should do, right? Just looking, for, just looking for people's opinions. And so I said, well, I mean, the easiest thing would be to sell it just as is, as in one lump sum and just sell it off and explain what the issue is and what the estimated repairs are. And if you can get a breakdown of the cost for parts versus labor, then again, you can kind of do what I did and maybe you can minimize your losses there. I think if you wanted to maximize the amount of revenue he could get out of it, he could scavenge the whole thing, right? Just separate out the wheels and the tires. He could even take the hood, the seat, the, the three-point arms. Just, what is this, a public, PSA. Three point arms, okay? If you guys are buying a used John Deere 1 Series with a backhoe on it, make sure you get the three point arms with it because they are a, they're a fortune to get if you have to get replacements. So they're not gonna be on the three point hitch if you have the backhoe on here, they come off. So 
ask whoever you're buying it from if they have the three-point arms that go along with it. And if they don't, find out how much it currently costs and negotiate that into the deal. But anyway, most folks don't want to go through that, right? They don't want to have to deal. You weren't planning on, you're not looking to become a junkyard, right? And scavenge things off and sell them on eBay or Facebook Marketplace one by one. So that's what I would do. But I thought it's worth talking about, number one, because I don't really know where there's many tractor graveyards around there, especially for newer, you know, I don't know, I mean, 2000, year 2000 and newer tractors. I don't know if there's enough of them that are out there because most of them are probably still in existence. You see, you know, the old stuff, right? You know, from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, all that kind of thing. But the new stuff, you don't really see any of that. But if there's, if there's a location out there or multiple locations that are great resources for folks to find replacement parts, you know, just a new wheel from a scrapyard from something that got rolled or whatever, that'd be great information for folks to know. So leave a comment down below. Well, anyway, I figure I, I, I suppose I should tell you what happened. And so <laughs> I had to ask him to get more detail and uh, pretty, pretty simple story, really. He says, we were blowing leaves with the tractor. The operator backed up to align with the row of leaves. And when he went to the forward pedal, the axle broke and away he went, like down the hill. I guess I... I'm curious if he was sitting on the tractor this whole time. That would be really crazy. He says, I wish I could have figured out why this happened or what I may have done to cause it. He sends another photo showing the oil trail from the point of failure when the axle broke. So like up on top of the hill, one of the axles broke off at that point, went down the hill, whacked a tree, and the other one broke off. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Anyway, so to sum it up, he says, this tractor was serviced regularly as stated in the owner's manual and was in great condition with 280 hours. Oh, it was a 2013 model year and it does have a 60 inch mower deck with it as well. So I actually looked to see if it might've had wheel spacers on it because that's always an interesting topic of conversation on, you know, how much the, the spacers really stress the rear axles. There's no wheel spacers on that, uh, of course. It just seemed to be some sort of fluke accident that happened there. I do feel like $11,500 is, is extreme. I don't know, maybe I, I'm just not up with the times right now, but that seems like highway robbery to replace that rear end. Um, so yeah, take that for what you will. I thought that was a, just one of those things that happens, right? And, and I don't know, maybe insurance, hopefully insurance covered that for him. Good question for homeowners insurance policies to, to see what is covered on there for completely freak accidents like that that happen. But again, I'd like to know, where do you go to find a new hood for your tractor, right? I mean, I, I've seen them on eBay. I mean, you can get, you can get them from deer, right? But if you're, you're always looking for cheaper alternatives and, and there'd be a great, a great demand for that, I have to assume out there if there was something well-known um, and consolidated for folks to go to. But on that note, if you do go the brand new OEM route, well, then one of our discount club partners, 247parts.com is one of the biggest online John Deere dealers in the world. And you can save money off your order with code GWT on their website. So that's pretty much it for today, folks. But I, I, I think it's worth mentioning. I, I love the 1025R and, and this could happen to any tractor. It could be an orange tractor, green tractor, blue tractor, red tractor, whatever it is, freak things happen out there. And that's, you know, that's just part of life, right? So you gotta roll with it. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more, we want you to tag along. Hit that subscribe button down below. It is completely free. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, an attachment for the front end loader or the three point hitch, well, we can probably help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.